The seasons are changing and school is almost out and shoppers are looking for new and different things now. In the last two weeks, we've seen tremendous changes in the things that people are searching for to go shopping. See outdoor furniture, luggage, beach outfits up 236%, shorts up 279%, swimsuits up 313% and sundresses up 267%. As you can tell, people are thinking about their vacations, they're thinking about what they wear every single day and specifically around those key holidays. So make sure that you have content that's ready and available for them. You can think about these topics with your collections, you can think about them with the types of content that you're posting in your shop and don't forget that videos convert very well. Use that feature as you help people go shopping for their summer routine. Within the LTK app, there's a few key trends that we're starting to see emerge as summer is upon us. The first is that skin is very much in. We saw this during the pandemic that people spent a lot more on skincare than even makeup, for example. So the way I'm seeing this being leaned into is with the specific sunscreens that you should use and also things like hats for sun coverage. So these are all LTK brands. This is Capello, a brand that is based in Dallas, Texas, but made in Ecuador. Um, gives you a large brim so that you have a lot of sun coverage. Underneath that, I am wearing my Elta MD skincare. This was recommended by my dermatologist and my facialist. I wear this every single day under my makeup and on my hands too. That's a place where you really age. You might not realize it, um, but hands show age, so be sure that you're putting it there as well. Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen is like my secret to how I'm actually putting my um, sunscreen on with my nice clothing like out the beach or with my swimsuits. This stuff is not oily at all. It actually goes on completely dry so it won't ruin your clothes. I use this for myself. Super Goop also has a new product called Poof Powder. And Poof Powder is basically a powder you can put in your part, but it's great for children's hair so you're not just like rubbing oily sunscreen all over their hair. So it's a new product that I actually just got in for this year. We're seeing the emergence of Latin American brands, specifically really in the um, resort wear space. And so it's become a whole new category. There's been a ton of press written about it and we are seeing it anecdotally within our app as well. Um, this is a line by Agua Bendita. It's sold at many at LTK retailers. And this is a key trend as well, where you are seeing um, really matchy matchy pieces. So you have the matching top and then kind of high waisted bottoms, but then the matching skirt. So you're going from the pool side to the beach side um, and you can tie a little cute linen top on top of that. But amazing Latin American brands that are really getting a lot of visibility right now. Along with that kind of fun and flair and happiness that those brands are bringing to market, jewelry is back. So you might remember the days of chandelier earrings. This is a little bit along those lines, but I would say like joyful accessories. So things that just make it seem like you're having a lot of fun and at a party. This is a pair that I got for $9, but of course there are price points um, really that span the range from luxury down to really easily accessible. These are great for gifts, but this is a pair that I'll wear back um, with, with this Agua Bendita set. Next are bags. So we saw a micro trend emerge over the last few years and now we're seeing what I'm just gonna describe as a small bag. So this one is actually super practical. It fits my keys, it fits my sunglasses, my you know breath mints, my wallet, my earbuds. Everything goes in here and I'm able to carry this around in a really practical way, but you can see it's still sm quite small. This one is by Anin Bing, it's a black leather. I love the gold hardware on it because it actually goes back with any designer. It's a pet peeve of mine to kind of mix different designer brands. And this one is just so subtle that it really goes back with anything. It has a long strap as well. The last trend we're seeing is personalization. So there's a saying that goes, if it doesn't breathe, monogram it. And certainly as we're seeing Americana come back and people are starting to think about getting outside of the city and going back to really some traditional clothing, both um, in, the, in the furniture space as well as with our outfits, um, I'm seeing a lot more personalization. So this is a, a boot brand based here um, in the DFW area, City Boots, and they're offering personalization on the ears of your boots. Um, I also found this necklace that I'm wearing right now that has two little bees on it um, for my husband. And I got this for our anniversary. This one was an Etsy find, but you're seeing it again at all price points, personalization. It's great for you. It's great for the gifts that you're offering it. I see it with tote bags. A great other gift would just be buying a simple cosmetic bag and then having it monogrammed. So personalization is having a really big moment um, and it's everything from bags to boots to necklaces.